Hello and welcome to Zalva Sound's YouTube channel. My name is Don Lodem. Today I'm going to be talking about how to integrate MIDI with the Behringer X32, more specifically with QLab 3. Uh, this is cross compatible with QLab 4. It's basically the same piece of software, except in QLab 4 they implemented some new features with lighting and stuff. We're not really worried about that though. Um, the first thing that we're going to have to do is go onto the Behringer X32, navigate to Setup, and then tab over to Remote. And then you can go under MIDI control interface and enable card MIDI. Once you have that done, uh, go into QLab. I have two audio cues set up provided by Ben Sound. Uh, under View, go to Workspace Settings. And then we're going to enable Use Musical MIDI Controls. This is a more global response system on QLab, meaning that you can... Um, uh, it's going to be controlling commands like go and panic and select previous and select the next cue. It's not going to be controlling a cue trigger, but I will explain how to do that as well. Now, hit view on your user assigned section. Um, tab over to set A. And then what we're going to do is let's set button 5 to be a MIDI push, control change, and channel 1, and let's set it to be the value of 1, button 6, MIDI push, control change, channel 1, then make that 2, 7, MIDI push, control change, channel 1, 3, 8, MIDI push, control change, channel 1, 4. Alright, so you can see that uh, uh, our bank on our user assigned section, lettered A, now has some control change buttons. All right. So now you're going to come over back to QLab, and what we're going to do, where it says go, we're going to hit capture, and then we're going to tap the first one to make go the first control change. You can see that QLab recognized that MIDI push. Now hit capture on panic, and I'm going to make that the second one. And for some reason, it didn't get recognized. There we go. Three. And four. Just like that. All right. So now that that's done, we can go back over onto our X32 and hit Setup. Tap over to Global. Um, just to show you that this is working in QLab, I'm going to go hit Done. And now I'm going to go back and forth between the two cues that I have in there with the um, the select previous cue and select next cue command in QLab. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit go and you'll be able to hear this track. I'll bring that down again and now we'll hit panic all and it'll stop it. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is on the second cue, we're going to assign a MIDI trigger. So let's go hit MIDI trigger. And let's hit, actually, let's, I'm sorry, let's go back to our um, assign section here. And let's go to button, let's go to button 12, MIDI push, control change, and let's make this 11. All right. So now we're going to hit Capture here in QLab, and we're going to tap Assign Key 12. And you can see it got recognized. Beautiful. So now, no matter what cue I'm on, I can go and add, you know, a few fade cues, a few of these guys. Can't even really see. Mic cues. And if I'm on any of these, and I hit tw uh, Assign Key 12, which is linked to that second cue, it's going to play it. Panic all to stop them. So that is the easiest way to get started with using MIDI with uh, the Behringer X32. This is great for a house of worship setting where you have to play pads and stuff like that. Tomorrow I'm going to be covering some more show control stuff. So if you have a big cue list and um, you need to send a few MIDI cues back and forth between the X32 and QLab, it'll do that on a cue by cue basis. Check that out on Monday. Thank you guys for tuning in to Zaba Sound. 
Follow us on Twitter, at Zava Sound, and head to our Patreon to support us, patreon.com slash Zava Sound. Thank you so much again for watching, and have a good day. Mm -hmm.